team from Paul Coppola at Lost Foundation College. Today, we are going to share our, our project concerning the impact of air pollution on visibility. I'm Marco. I'm Violet. I'm Calista. I'm Maisie. Hong Kong is one of the most important international financial and logistics centers in the world. It has the nickname Pearl of the Orient, and it was said to be one of the most livable cities in the world. However, the air quality in Hong Kong has been declining in the past few decades. According to reports from BBC News in December 2010, one out of four Hong Kong people would like to leave this place because of its worsening air quality. People who seriously consider leaving tend to be healthier. Apart from BBC News reporters, the New York Times magazine in January 2011 also mentioned that the skyline formed by skyscrapers in Hong Kong, silhouette against the Victoria Peak, is getting harder and harder to see. Over the last few decades, as the city's economy and that of its neighbouring, mainland China has grown, air pollution in the region has worsened and so has visibility. Although the government has set up 18 air pollution monitoring stations in Hong Kong, it is still not enough for the general public. So, we have participated in the EXPLORE project led by the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, which created a better air pollution monitoring station network in Hong Kong in order to provide the general public with more regional air pollution data. We used a low-cost method to measure the air pollutants, which includes ozone, NO2, black carbon, and visibility. We also measured the concentration of fine suspended particulates, FSP. However, this is outside the small project. So you might be wondering what is visibility? How does it affect us? Visibility is an indicator of the transparency of the air. It is a measure of the distance at which an object or light can clearly be certain. Weather conditions and visibility are closely related. It is also believed that it reflects a level of air pollution. So we want to investigate how visibility is affected by weather conditions. Our methodology is to collect some weather conditions data at 8 a.m. and 1 p.m. For data collection, we will be using the head through 3,100 pocket weather meter to measure fast parameters, namely relative humidities, average wind speed, wind direction, air pressure, and temperature of our school. Our team has cooperated with another team, which is responsible for checking the amount of air pollutants, including fine suspended particulates and black carbon at the same time. So here are some here are some steps of air sampling. For black carbon collection, we are using a filter paper and pump. Then we will scan the filter paper and use Photoshop to analyze how black the filter paper is to find the concentration of black carbon at our school. Then, we will input the data into the formula. As there are also many other pollutants on the filter paper, the formula will help to choose the smallest value of the data. Therefore, the final data will be the least affected by the other impurities like heavy metal. A concentration of the black carbon on the filter paper can be measured. For FSP, the TSI dust track to aerosol monitor is used to take measurements for 5 minutes and find the concentration of the fine suspended particulates. Now for the steps of extracting the NO2 and ozone from the air, we have measurement in the previous team. Back to measuring of visibility, we have taken 5 electricity pylons and one small hill as the reference point. This is an example of a day with good visibility. We have measured the distance between these reference points and our school by using the map of Lens Department of KSAR and found that the targets range from 0.7 km to 2.8 km as shown in the photo. We took photos on the school rooftop to measure the visibility on different days. Here are the photos that we have taken. After comparing all the data we've collected, we plot several graphs using all the data that, to see if there is any relationship between them. After comparing all the graphs, we have found that fine suspended, fine 
suspended particulates, wind direction, and visibility, and visibility have got a relationship. We've calculated the correlation between visibility and fine suspended particulates by Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. The result should be between negative 1 to 1. If the result is between 0 to 1 and negative 1, it means that it has a negative relationship. On the other hand, if it is between 0 to 1, it means it has a positive relationship. Moreover, if it has a if the result is between negative 0 0.5 to negative 1 and 0 0.5 to 1, it means it has a strong negative or positive respectively. For other weather factors, we hope to find the relationship in further investigation. Here is the graph of FSP. We find that there is a strong negative correlation at our negative 0 0.81. This point shows that when the FSP increases, the visibility decreases. It is suggested that FSP will decrease the transparency of the air. Here is the green road graph between the FSP and wind direction. So we have taken eight direct and variables and calculated the FSP value to plot the graph. From the graph, we can clearly see that when the wind is blowing from the southwest, the value of FSP is the highest. In view of the above result, we started to figure out why southwesterlies bring along most FSP and where do these fine suspended particulates come from. This little spot indicates where our school is. As seen from this map, we can observe there is a highway located at the south of our school. So we believe that the main source of the fine suspended particulates that we have collected was coming from the highway. As shown from these arrows, we can see that the air pollutants are coming from the south to the north. According to the statistics from the transport department, there are nearly 90,000 cars passing through this highway every day. In addition, there is always a traffic jam during the morning peak hours, just like what you can see in the picture. As vehicles are one of the major sources of fine suspended particulates, we may collect lots of fine suspended particulates during our air sampling and having a self-wind. In conclusion, as we find that fine suspended particulates are strongly co correlated to visibility, we can also explain the reason of poor air quality, as the PM10 and PM2.5 levels in Hong Kong exceeded the WHO guidelines. Therefore, communities should pay more attention on the air quality nearby. Most of all, the government should have a better urban planning to encourage citizens to use more public transport, like the subway, and create more green zones in the city. Taking our school as an example, these highlighted roads around our school is busy and are main roads for many road users. Therefore, many air pollutants are around our school. But before doing this experiment, as the air pollutants are invisible, we didn't used to know that there are such lots of air pollutants around our school. Therefore, we should care more about the environment which is affecting us. Sustainable societies are an essential part in supporting all these people on our planet. Hence, this year's CI is Sustainable Societies. We hope that our project will raise the awareness concerning the significance and urgency to keep the visibility of developed regions. By joining UST's Explore project and taking part in forming a better air pollution monitoring network. Before the end of our presentation, our gratitude is first be expressed to Professor Arthur Lau, who gave invaluable opinions on our research. His sincerity, patience, and assistance encouraged us during the course of the study. We must also thank Hong Kong Bank Foundation and the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology in providing assistance of our study. Without their help, the study could not have been completed. Last but not least, we would also like to express our thanks to Ms. Shaming Wong and Mr. Jason Lo, who have always encouraged us to devote fully to our study. That's the end of our presentation. I'm Marco. I'm Violet. I'm Calista. I'm Macy. Thank, thank you, you for our attention. attention.
reached um, the university, were you invited to um, run the project or did you approach the university by yourself? Oh, we both. Because the university is searching some skills to try to uh, work this project, uh, have some experiment. And we saw this project and we wish to help them and find some. Uh, if I investigate on the air pollution around our school, around our environment. Just not our school, because there uh, are lots of Hong Kong schools that also participated in this project. Because uh, the Hong Kong air pollution is very, uh, is, uh, is... The monitoring network is quite small, not yes. every district has an yeah. air pollution monitoring station that's so 